Good morning. And thank you for waking up with Edie Darling. This morning, I'm coming to you from one of the most sacred places in my life, and that is my altar. And the reason why I'm coming to you from the altar this morning is because I feel like in my spirit that I need to pray for God's people. Because there are some people who are out here who have been listening to these messages and they don't know how to pray. They've never had had to pray. There are some people who feel like many of God's people who feel like when they've been crying out in the wilderness and crying out to God and they feel like their prayers are not being answered. Well, I would like to intercede on your behalf this morning. I want to come into agreement with you that whatever it is that you're seeking God for, whatever answers you're seeking God for, whatever need, whatever desire you have in, the, in your heart, I want to come into agreement with you. The word of God says where two or more are gathered together, there shall he be in the midst. Well, as of last night, we had 300 likes on this page. So if all of us came together, despite our religion, regardless of our political differences, but if we came together as human beings, believing God for one another, because this is not about a competition, but that we come together believing for your brother and your sister that they be made whole. That they can then go out and help somebody else. That's what I'm believing for you right now. Now I'm not asking you to bow your head. I'm not asking you to get prostrate on the floor. I'm not asking you to Kneel on, on, on your kneel down on your knees. All I'm asking you to do is to open up your heart that you might receive this prayer. So let us come together as one. Let us become unified as the human race. And let us believe for one another that whatever it is that we are seeking, that God is about to do what some people might call the impossible. So I'm going to be obedient to God and pray with you right now. Most gracious and loving Father, you know the heart of every person who is listening right now. You know their needs, you know their desires, you know their wants. And Father God, I am believing that every one of their cries have not fallen upon deaf ears. But I am believing that right now, as we all come together as one, unified together, that we are believing that you are answering their prayers. Father God, if you created each and every one of us, so you know us intricately inside and out. If there is someone who is sick out there in their bodies, I am believing that right now you are beginning to touch them from the top of their hair down to the sole of their feet. The doctors may have given them a bad report, but we know that you are the great physician. 
And you being the great physician, you have the ability to heal that which doctors cannot heal. And I am believing that right now, even as we are speaking, that your love is pouring down on your people right now. That your love is pouring down on your people right now. And they feel it. You are changing them from the inside out. Father God, there may be some people who are out here who are having to make some major financial decisions and they need guidance. And Father God, I am believing that you are giving them that guidance right now. Father God, I am seeing just like Jacob as he saw angels ascending and descending that you are dispatching your angels to watch over your people. That you are preparing their place, wherever it is that they need to go. If they need to go talk to their boss today, I am believing that you are preparing the atmosphere, that you have set the atmosphere on their behalf. Father God, I am believing that whatever hurt your people may be feeling right now in their hearts that you're beginning to mend the brokenness i am believing father god i am believing that whatever it is they are needing right now in their lives that you are meeting every need because they need you they've been crying out and in the end, Father God, we'll be sure to give you the glory. We'll be sure to give you the honor. For you are truly worthy of the utmost praise. In Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Amen. Peace and blessings I send you, my friends. Peace and blessings.